Hey there, Phil from Parklinks.com. I hope you're all well and enjoying the time in your garden today. Uh, now, this is a little video for you about us making our compost. Now, uh, I didn't do a start to this before, which is why you'll find I'm in a different t-shirt. Uh, but basically, it was a bit spare at the moment. You know, I wasn't prepared. Uh, so, this is why I'm going to show you this now. We made our own compost up, and I wanted to show you uh, what we've done towards the end. Um, and another video, I'll show you how we actually started through this process of making our own compost. So, if you'd like to come along and have a little watch, uh, I'll show you what we did um, a few days ago. Yes, <laughs> everyone come and have a little look with me. There are several ingredients in our compost and you'll see they're kept in separate piles. We use the wood chipper then to mix them all together and make the soil. The specific ingredients here are wood chips and sawdust which came from the uh, tree we recently had taken down. Uh, there's a video coming soon on that and composted food scraps and leaf litter which includes the rhubarb leaves from our recent harvests I'll put a link above to the video and uh, matured manure that we got from a local horse farm we run everything through the wood chipper at least twice to make sure it's all mixed in and as small as possible uh, but the main advice from Victor is to use items that aren't too wet as they can potentially block the wood chipper and also make sure there's no fabric or anything else that won't degrade quickly uh, he's also removed the screen from the wood chipper to prevent clogs. I will say on a personal note that if you use a machine like this, please do take relevant safety precautions as you deem necessary, particularly for eye and ear protection. The big benefit of the process is actually that the soil is nice and fluffy, it's aerated. Therefore it's also good when starting the repotting of your new starts, as it helps the roots establish. Uh, we also find that when watered, uh, the soil holds a good amount of moisture, despite the top level potentially looking quite dry in the hot sun. We did start the growing season, however, with bags of potting soil from Menards, and this Schultz potting soil was the cheapest bag we could find by volume. It's a two cubic foot, a little under $11. Uh, would have liked, of course, to have started with our homemade compost, but it was just too wet from late winter all the way through spring uh, to be able to run the machine, and the soil in the backyard was often like slop, uh, especially if we ran the skid steer. At the first point that we thought it was okay, though, to start moving, uh, we went out with the trailer to pick up the manure. However, the car got stuck in the field, uh, but luckily I had a plan to get it out and using our minds, some items that were sitting around and a lot of luck, uh, we worked together to get it out. Uh, we were sort of like a mix of um, MacGyver, the A-Team and some of the people you see in America's Funniest Home Videos, um, but unfortunately we were not filming that day. Uh, they really, it was probably a good thing because there's only so many bleeps that I want to put into our videos. Now this is our second year making our own compost in this way and our plants have thrived and you've seen that by our previous gardening videos last year um, and so far this year and everything to come soon is looking really good. Good. Well done. Okay. <laughs> There's our drainage hole. Got four of those around the tub because it's big. And as you can see, I've now filled it with a tomato. In fact, I've done two. Come around the other side. 
There you go. That's pretty impressive, huh? And on top of that, I just found the trail I'd misplaced. I think that looks pretty nice. They're growing well. This is a few days later. Just need to stake that up, actually. But they're looking good. I like them. What have we got planted in them here? We have... That one is an Amish paste. And this one is a splash of cream which is actually split right down the bottom there that's interesting it's up two in one i could probably split that but there i'm happy with that that's absolutely beautiful this one's from last year but the thing with this one it's a self-waterer which is fantastic i just filled that with water and it last in there for a week or so don't have to water it again until later on to fill it up so we've got a few like that now we've done a lot of work with them and as you can see that one we had from last year as well that's now got potatoes in and this one here slightly different that was also done this week that's got a nice Kellogg's breakfast in it that was a little young that one so hopefully they grow up to be just like the others. Currently this one's just saving water. Make the most of what we got. There you go. That's the last one. Beautiful. And that's an orange jazz. Cool. Okay, so there you go. Hopefully you enjoyed that. Uh, it just basically has proved that anyone can make their own compost. Obviously we've got our machine here, uh, which is, means that we could use the wood chips and things like that, larger items, but you don't need that to make your own compost. Uh, you know, with the price of compost and soil going up way too much now, um, especially since COVID it went crazy, because uh, they know now people want to start doing gardening. What can you do? So what you can do is you can make your own. Now, you don't need to have a machine like ours, you could just have a plastic tub or something like that and just fill it with your kitchen scraps whatever you know a few extra bits and bobs i'll go into making compost video another time uh, but it's not it's not difficult anyone can do it and it becomes free soil so that is always a good thing and yeah it's good it's good for your soil what can you do you know where it's come from you know it is actually good stuff uh you know it's your salad fixings you know you know maybe cardboard or something like that you know what you're putting in so that's always good and you know you're not going to end up finding screws and stuff like that and bits of plastic all over your uh, uh, your soil which is a pain in the backside so at least you know what you put in you know you put care into what you're doing and uh, you know your plants are going to enjoy it okay so everyone i hope you do this yourself everyone take care goodbye and god bless bye bye <music>